first thing you need to do is to open up where your script is so here i have this script which i um, wrote so the gold digger who was later used for money ritual that is the script so over here you can see that um um this is up to six pages and if if i want to write this image prompt by myself it's going to be a very stressful something to do so that is why in this video i'm going to explain to you how to actually use chat gpt to generate image um, prompt for a full paragraph or let's say a full one page of your script so you just have to watch this video and make sure you like this video for others to see you can share it in any communities that you are for others to also come and watch this video now this is my script okay i'm going to also give you a prompt that you're going to use so don't worry so this is my script so what i um do here you can see that these scripts are paragraph by paragraph this is the first paragraph second paragraph if you scroll down you can see other para um, paragraphs that are there i'm going to come to where my script is then i'm going to um highlight this entire script so i'll copy this script like this then i'll come over to chat gpt inside the text area i'll paste i'll paste everything so you can see i've pasted this you can see the entire script there so i pasted that so i'm going to come to this prompt which i'm going to give you so um you will write this down so here i said go through the story and give me the names of all the characters including the village so what this prompt does is that it's going to give me all the names of the characters in this story okay so i'll go to chat gpt under um what i just paste i'm going to paste this also so here i'm giving it a command go through the story and give me the names of all the characters including the village so i'll send it then allow chat gpt to generate the names of the characters in this so here you can see this is the names of the characters. So here are the names of all the characters in the story. This video is going to be a bit long, but is I'm going to explain to detail everything you need to know. So watch to the end. All right. So I'm going to come down here. Here I said this is um, the first name Becky, the main character, a young uh, university student, Anita, Becky's best friend. So it's going to give you this explanation from just the script you just paste. So here are the names of the characters in this story okay all right so let's go back and um let's go back to our prompt so i'm going to provide this prompt the link is going to be in the description of this video so you join my telegram group so that you can get this prompt so over here i'm going to use this other um, um instruction is again i said create a profile for each of the characters remember they are all african nigerian make it in form of an ai image prompt Keep it short. I want to maintain consistency in the images. So I will copy that, but let me explain what this instruction does. What this instruction do is that it's going to create profile for each of them. This profile, when you get profile like this, it helps you maintain a bit of consistency in your images. So here I said, remember they are all African Nigerian. So any country that you want to portray you can put it there change that and put it there then i said again make it in form of an ai image prompt you can see that keep it short i want it to be short because if you don't make it this short it's going to give you a long um, description which is the um, image prompt but we don't want that then i want to maintain consistency in the image so i'll copy that then get then go over here in the text area i'll paste it then send it again so here is going to generate um, um, this image prompt for each of these characters for me. So you can see it's saving me the stress of generating um, prompt for each of these characters. So these are the prompt for each of these characters. You can see for Becky, they say a young Nigerian woman in her early 20s. So this age, you can change them later um, to match the kind of age that you are looking for. With a stylish and fashionable look, wearing a trending outfit with bright colors and accessories, she has a confident expression and is seen standing in a vibrant city setting, reflecting her love for the glamorous lifestyle. So that is that. So you can copy all this for um, this 
character so i'm going to copy it then open a new document now i'm going to paste it here i'm going to paste it here okay let me just give space so just format your work so that it's going to be easy for you so i can make it a little bit bold like this 14 is okay so just do a little formatting to the work so that it's going to be easier for you when you want to pick them up don't just carry everything that this ai gives you all right so here is it so from here what i can do is to change their ages so that it matches to what i am looking for so you can decide to change each of this age uh, you can see this is the abiola so you know what your script is talking about you know what your story script is talking about so this is it all right so i'm going to go back to now it's time for me to start generating um um, prompt for each of each part of this story so i'm going to copy up to five paragraph so you copy don't copy all of them at the same time so copy up to five paragraphs i'm going to copy this then go over to chat gpt i'll paste what i just copied inside the text area now you go back to the prompt which i'm going to give you now so you copy the third prompt here which i said now give me an image prompt and include the characters profile for each paragraph so keep it short so i'm going to copy this go back to chat gpt i'll explain to you what this um what this um instruction means so here i said give me an image prompt and include the characters so if you don't add this include the characters profile it's just going to give you a random prompt but with this include um the characters profile what it's going to do is that it's going to pick each of these their um, profile, which is for Obi is saying a Nigerian boy around eight years old with an energetic and curious expression. That is that. So it's going to pick that and add it to the prompt that it's going to generate for you. Don't worry, you will see a sample of this. So you send it. It's going to go through your all each of your paragraphs. So this is the first paragraph. You can see it's numbered. Um, Becky in the city, a young pretty Nigerian woman in her early 20s wearing a stylish outfit standing in front of a large university hostel building in Pothicot. The setting is urban with a vibrant city backdrop. So that is the first paragraph. Let's go and read that first paragraph. Let's see what the first paragraph is talking about. You can see this is the first paragraph. And it says, once upon a time in the city of Pothicot, there lived a pretty lame, um, girl named Becky. Becky was a young university student. She lived in the hostel with her friends. The hostel was a big building with many rooms. Each room had tools and that and that. So um, the first paragraph is talking about Becky living in a, an hostel. And the script here, the image from that we have here is actually describing that. So what you are going to do is to copy that. Then go back to document which you created and come down here paste it so this is um description for the first paragraph a young pretty nigerian woman in her early 20s so if it's missing any um details from your the description of becky here you can add that detail to your um you can add that detail to the prompt here so let's copy this let's copy this then go to our image creator website and paste it in so now you can just paste it in then create and let's see the outcome of this image all right guys so here you can see the outcome of the image so this is becky she's standing in front of um a nigerian and hostel building so you can see meaning becky is a university student so any of this image that you like you can download to represent becky as the first paragraph of your story so you just have to download this and make use of it now let's go back to our second paragraph which is talking about becky and anita so here we have two young nigerian women both in their early 20s sitting together in the university classroom or library becky stylish dress while anita has a calm and studious look they are smiling talking and sharing a light moment so you can simply copy this okay then let's go back to our image um our documents here let's paste this and see what details that is lacking so two young nigerian women both in their early 20s sitting together in the university classroom so let's um go through this is how you do this so you go through um uh, anita's profile 
So it's same 20 years uh, with a calm studios and that you can see it included that in the script in the prompt that it gives us. So you just copy that prompt, go to our image creator website and paste it in. You can see how simple it is. Instead of you stressing yourself trying to craft out prompt and um, image prompt and all that, you can simply use this method that I am using. Now let's see the outcome of our image. So here you can see the outcome of our image that is it's is portraying everything that we need. So this is um, for the second paragraph, which is this. Then you can this is another um, the third paragraph. So this is how you can generate this your images without strength. The AI is going to do that for you. And when you're done with the the one you pasted, you just have to continue from here, highlight from here, you copy it, do the same thing as the one that you um you did so i'm going to provide this prompt for you in the description of this video so tap on that link to join my telegram group from there you're going to see this prompt okay so that is that um for this video and i'm going to see you practice let me know drop a comment for me in the comment section of this video let me know if this video was helpful to you and if it was helpful to you just drop a heart emoji for me in in the comment section of this video i'm going to appreciate you for dropping a comment under this video and if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and like my video for more videos to come thank you guys for watching i will see you in my next video